again and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're here at the gazebo. This was my former shala before everything closed down. And I'm so happy that I'm here to share with you this very short yoga sequence. You can do at any time of the day just so that you have something for yourself to be able to practice, to get yourself started. So here, you're going to be needing your yoga mat. I have here my favorite outdoor yoga mat. This is by Flow Fatigue. And this one has PVC fibers intertwined with hemp so that you get a nice grippy surface for your down dogs, for your arm balances, for your inversions. And it has a nice cushiony um, padding so that you do not injure your joints, okay? So, but you can use any mat you have available. It's perfectly fine. Um, this is just my preference. And then also I have a yoga block, okay? In the absence of yoga block, you can just grab a stack of books, maybe cushions or anything that can, you can use to bring the floor closer to you, all right? So we'll be doing a hip opening sequence. As you all know, being in lockdown gets you stuck in one position most of the time or maybe you're sitting for prolonged periods of time so you kind of get too much stuff in your hips so you want to loosen it up and also loosening up your hips also loosens up any pent-up emotions that can also be toxic uh, physically and chemically to your body and we don't want any toxic things right okay so let's get started I'm going to begin in a cross-legged seated position and then I want to roll my shoulders back just to get things loosened up and roll my shoulders forward. Now I close my eyes and maybe I can start with a short meditation just to be able to find my center. Breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out. Just feel the opening of your hips. Feel also the grounding of your lower body. Now I want you to bring your attention to your lower body from the waist down. Notice also the grounding of your sitting bones onto the mat. Notice the base of your spine as it anchors down. And allow the weight, your weight, to be supported by the earth. Allow your shoulders to relax. Sides of the waist very long and feel as if your spine is growing tall, lifting you up. Slightly tuck the chin in, lean slightly back. Allowing yourself to be very aware of your body. Of being aware of what your body is right now at this present moment. Just accepting it as it is. Honoring the present. few more breaths here. I want you to blink your eyes open. Give yourself a smile if you haven't smiled for the day. And we'll come to your tabletop, coming to your all fours. I like doing my seat, my cat tail here just to warm up my body. So inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round your back. Inhale. Exhale, round your back. Inhale. Exhale, round your back. Now coming to your neutral spine, begin to extend the left leg to the back. Feel as if you're kicking an imaginary wall behind you. And then use your core to stabilize your balance. Reach your right hand forward, coming to your two-legged tabletop. Keep flexing the back foot. And reach the right fingertips towards the front. Feel your core engage. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, begin to round your spine as you bring your knee 
and your elbow to the center in line with your navel. And extend. And crunch. And extend. And crunch. And extend. One more crunch. And extend. Now bring your right hand down to the mat. Left, ha left leg steps in between your hands. Slowly place your hands on your hips and come up. Coming to your low lunge. Take a deep breath in. Bring your arms up. Exhale. Sink down low. And maybe do a mini back bend. Or maybe cactus shape your arms. Whatever you feel. Holding here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now slowly come up. Place your left hand by your hip. Right hand stays lifted. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reach towards the left side. Feel the stretch come all the way from your waist to your thigh. Come back to center. Right hand down to the mat. Lift the right knee up. And left hand reaches up to your easy twist. Deep breaths here. Try to bring the belly off the thigh. Engage your core. Press with your finger pads. Left hand comes down and come back to your tabletop. Let's do that on the other side. Right hand, right leg reaches back. Flex the foot. Heel in line with your buttocks. And then left hand reaches forward. Feel the core engage. For five. Four. Three. Two. And one, and let's do that core work. Bend and extend. Bend and extend. Bend and extend. And bend and extend. Now left hand down, right foot steps in between your hands. Slowly reach up, inhale. Exhale, low lunge, cactus your arms, mini back bend. Singing the hips even lower. Keep breathing. Now inhale, come back to center. Right hand by your hip, lengthen. And exhale, bend towards the right. Elongating the left side. Deep breaths here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, left hand down, lift the left knee up, easy twist on the other side, deep breaths here, reach towards the ceiling with your right hand and press with your left finger pads on the mat, take deep breaths here and feel as if also you're squeezing something in between your legs. To also help with your stability and right hand down now slowly come to your first downward facing dog and if your hamstrings are feeling a bit tight begin to pedal your feet keep pressing also with your finger pads shoulders rolled away from the ears relax your neck shake your head no nod your head yes and feel the whole back body start to expand and form that mountain shape with your body. Now press the left foot down the mat. Reach the right leg up to the ceiling. Bend your knee. Open up your hip to your fire hydrant pose. Now begin to step the right foot in between your hands. Left heel stays lifted. And come to your high lunge. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, interlace behind your hands, behind your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades and puff up the chest. Belly button sucked in. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, allow the right shoulder to come close to your right knee. Coming to your humble warrior. Deep breaths here. Strengthen your legs. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, slowly begin to come up. 
find your way to your warrior two. Now in your warrior two, make sure that the right knee is turned out, outer blade of the left foot pressed firmly on the mat. Hands reaching to either side, feel strong, belly button sucked in. Flip the right palm up, reach over to your left leg, reverse warrior. Keep the legs very active. Now begin to straighten the right leg, hinge from the hips, reach forward, right hand to your ankle or the floor or maybe on top of a block. It's up to you, left hand reaches up. And in your triangle pose, this is what this pose is called, lean slightly back so that you further open up the side. Keep reaching long. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We bend the right knee. Reverse the warrior once again. Deep breath in here. Be mindful of your movement. Exhale. Come to your side angle pose. Your right forearm can come to your thigh. Or your right hand can come to the ground. Left hand still reaches up or over. Inhaling here, exhale, inhale, exhale, left hand down, right hand reaches up, easy twist again, take a deep breath in, exhale, bring your left hand, left knee down, left toes reach up, grab hold of the left foot with your right hand and do a nice quad stretch, maybe sink the hips even deeper. A deep breath in here. Exhale, pull the left heel closer to your bum. Inhale. Exhale, release. Plant your hand down, downward facing dog. Deep breaths in here. If you want to pedal your feet, go ahead. Now reach the right, oh, sorry, left leg up. Bend your left knee, open up your hip, coming to your fire hydrant pose on the other side. Inhale. Exhale, step the left foot in between your hands, and then come to your high lunge. In your high lunge, also, you can also keep the back knee at the micro bend. Keep on lifting up with your hands, sinking low with your hips. Now interlace your hands behind your back, the more unusual way this time, other thumb on top. Squeeze your shoulder blades as you puff up the chest. Inhale. Exhale, humble warrior. On the other side. Deep breaths in here. Head low. Exhale, now slowly come up. Come to your warrior two. Very strong here. Left knee turning out. Right blade of your foot, outer blade of your foot, planted firmly on the mat. Flip the left palm up, reverse. Left side elongates, inhale. Exhale, straighten the left leg, hinge forward. Triangle pose, pose. Hand may or may not be on top of a block. Rebend the left knee, reverse, inhale. Exhale, side angle. Feel strong and also use your left hand to press against that left knee. Open up your left hip. The right hand comes down, easy twist. Once again. Now, your right knee comes down, quad stretch. Deep breaths in here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now slowly release. Downward facing dog. Now you can stay here in your down dog. But if you want to, you're very welcome to take your vinyasa. So I'll join you there. So roll over to your plank and then slowly come down to your chaturanga. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. 
Now right leg reaches up, bend the right knee, open up your hip. And then step the right leg in between your hands. Go directly to your warrior two. Taking deep breaths in here. Now come to your side angle pose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now begin to crawl over to the left side. Pigeon toe your feet. Coming to your wide legged forward fold. Place your hands in line with your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Head coming low. Deep breath in. Exhale, bring your weight to your toes. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now slowly begin to turn out the left foot. Lean over to your left leg. You can also support your hips to the block. Flex your right foot and come to your skandasana. Opening up your left leg. Hands in prayer position. Feel as if you're pressing your elbow to your leg and this will turn your hip out. And now do that to the other side. Hands in prayer, spine long. If it's too hard, you can put a block underneath your hips. And then frame your right leg. Begin to step your left foot a bit closer to your right leg. If it's too hard, you can use a block under your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold to your pyramid pose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, hands down. And then readjust, downward facing dog. Now I'm going to turn over here on this other side because I'm going to do the left side so I can see you. Lift the left leg up, coming to your three-legged dog. Bend your left knee, open up your hip. Step the left foot in between your hands and then come to your warrior two. Very strong. And then come to your side angle once again. Reaching forward. Maybe your side angle can come a bit lower. Deep breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Crawl over to your right side. Pigeon toe the feet so you can come to your wide-legged forward fold this time. You can hold on to your shin or your ankle or peace fingers on your big toes. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale, slowly come down. Deep breaths. Inhale, feel the hamstring stretch. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, slowly come up. Begin to face your left leg. Step the right foot closer to your left. Come up halfway. And then exhale, pyramid pose. Stretching your hamstrings and make sure that the hips are square. So turn the right hip in. Might be too intense. So just take it easy, but not too easy that you don't feel anything. And slowly come up. Come to your downward facing dog. You're welcome to stay here or you can take a flow. Make to your plank, lower down, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, down dog. Now slowly look forward, begin to step your feet forward, halfway lift, exhale, fold, 
Now slowly come up and then hands to your sides. Now we're gonna do three pose. I'm gonna face you guys. So this will be our balancing pose for the day. So your options, you can come to your shin or thigh, but never on your knee. I'm gonna start with the right leg, turn out the right leg, right knee facing to the side, hands to your heart, deep breaths here. few more breaths. If you want to, you can extend your hands up to the ceiling. Take deep breaths here. And release. Shake, shake, shake. We're going to do the other side. So your left leg reaches up. Look at one unmoving point. Hands in prayer. When you find your balance, reach up. Deep breaths in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now I'm going to face the top of the mat. Slowly release. Inhale, chair pose. Just to work your legs. Now slowly come lower. And lower. And lower, deep breath in, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, plant the hands down. Coming to your plank, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Now coming to your lizard pose, right leg steps outside your right hand. You can stay here with your right left knee down. Or, you can come down to your forearms. Maybe sway from side to side. Really open up your right hip. Stay here for 10 very yummy breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And with every breath, bring the weight closer to the earth. And really focus on opening up your right groin. Slowly come up. Now, you're going to bring the right leg back. Maybe just come to your tabletop or your downward dog and then do the other side. Walk the back leg back. Stay here or come down to your forearms. Slowly come up. And then we're gonna come to your frog pose. So in this frog pose, I'm just gonna do this sideways so you can see my profile. Your knees are gonna come out very wide. Be very generous with your knees, with the stretch. And then your feet are gonna go to either side. So your hips stay in line with your knees, inner blades of the feet on the mat. So can stay here this is already good but if you want to intensify your frog stretch you can bring your forearms down the mat 10 breaths here focusing on opening up your knee joint your hips your inner thighs you can protect your knee joints by sliding a blanket underneath your knees or maybe taking this at the long edge of the mat. Close your eyes. Breathe.
blog post can be very intense. Not also a very pretty post, but very good for your hips. Now slowly come up your forearms. How to get out? Allow the big toes to meet at the center. Lift up, bring your knees closer, and then rest in your wide legged, wide knee child's pose. You can make a pillow with your forearms. And just relax here. Deep cleansing breaths. Begin to slowly come up. And now sit in the center of your mat. Coming to my favorite hip opener, your butterfly fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, slowly fold. Slowly come up. And then we're going to do our double pigeon pose. So stack your right shin on top of your left. Flex both feet to protect your knee joints. And have the ankle hanging down by your knee like your a little canopy for some little butterfly or ladybug crawling underneath your right foot. So take a deep breath in, lengthen. And exhale, crawl down. The stretch is going to be on your right outer hip. And if you find it too intense, you can rest your head on a block. It's perfectly okay. Slowly come up. And we switch sides. Inhale. Exhale down. Slowly come up. And then lie down. Yay! Now we're gonna come to a passive back bend, coming to your supported bridge. So have your have your feet this way, feet stepping on the mat, knees pointing up to the ceiling, and then lift your hips up and slide the block underneath your sacrum. I'm just staying at the second level, but if you want it lower, or higher, it's up to you. Place your hands down on the mat, or if you want to add a shoulder stretch, hold opposite elbows and reach up and overhead. Then from here can either extend your legs or if you want to come back to your butterfly or diamond legs, you can. I'm staying here, really lengthening my front side and I start to relax. Sinking my weight deeper onto the mat and feeling the whole front side open up. Allowing peace and stillness to take over your body. Allowing the hips to just enjoy the new space that it has. Now begin to step your feet on the mat, lift your hips, slide the block aside. Come to your cradle pose, hugging your knees, maybe rocking from side to side, massaging your low back, 
Now come to your happy baby, Ananda Balasana. Bringing your knees very wide. One last hip opener. And bring your arms inside your legs and use those arms to push your legs apart and allow your knees to come closer to the ground. Soles of the feet pointing up. Deep breaths in here. And exhale. Begin to cross the right knee over the left. Bump your hips to the right and come to your laying spinal twist. You can cactus your arms or extend your arms to either side. I'm just bringing my right hand up and overhead and using my left hand as a weight to bring myself deeper into the twist. And other side, uncross the legs, bump your hips to the left, switch sides, and then twist the other direction. And here I'm going to slide the block underneath my knees. So I back the knee back. Just so that it's more comfortable for me. Slowly come back to center. And then here you can lie in your savasana, slowly releasing everything down the mat, realigning yourself and placing your hands by your side, palms facing up, closing your eyes. Begin to relax your breath. Allow yourself to become heavy as you sink your weight deeper onto your mat. Slowly and gently relax. I invite you to stay longer in Savasana. Around three to five minutes. You can pause this video if you want it longer. When you're ready to come up, begin to incorporate movements in your body. So shake your head. And then slowly take a deep breath as you extend your hands and your feet on opposite side. Inhale. And exhale, begin to roll over to one side in a fetal position, staying there. Whenever you're ready, begin to slowly come up, sitting at the center of your mat. Come to a comfortable cross-legged position and then place your hands on your knees, palms facing up or down. Begin to observe your body and your breath. Honor the space that your body has, acknowledging also your practice, acknowledging your limitations and your capabilities. Just bring your hands together in front of your heart. Bring your thumbs to your forehead, blessing your mind for clear thoughts. Slide your thumbs to your lips and bless your lips that you may speak kind words. And bring your thumbs to your heart and fill your heart with generosity, gratitude, and love. Thank you for allowing me to guide you in your yoga practice. The light in me honors and bows down to the light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Thank you everyone for joining me in this hip opening sequence. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below of how this class has affected you 
And if you want any more of these yoga classes, you can also let me know in the comment section. And I'll see you all next week. Bye!